As we think about examples for teachers in our life, who's the best teacher that's the example for us? Jesus, right? It's like Sunday school, it's the answer for everything, and sometimes you're right. In this case, you are right. So Jesus is the best teacher, and he taught in a lot of different ways. And some people think that there's only one way to teach, right? You just read the Bible, you talk about those 10 verses, you don't add any humor, any personal stories to it, that's it, right? That's one way to do it, but there's, we look at how Jesus taught, and there's a lot of ways that he communicated his message to the people around him. And we're going to go through these quickly. But Jesus spoke by his own authority. People were amazed that Jesus said these things because it wasn't as teachers of the law. And so even though we don't have our authority, we have the authority of the word of God when we teach. Jesus told stories, parables. He shocked people. He, talked, he used hyperbole, which if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Gouge out your eye. Obviously, thankfully, not literally. But he used this to shock people to think, like, this is very serious. We need to take it seriously. He created memorable sayings, catchy sayings that people could understand. He asked questions. Jesus didn't just tell people. He asked questions. He asked over 170 questions that we have record of. And that's a good way, especially with unbelievers, not just coming at them with truth, without love, but asking questions like, why do you believe what you believe? What do you think about Jesus? Did you ever grow up in the church? Those questions can start a conversation a lot better than just, hey, if you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to hell, right? We don't want to do that. Jesus used visual illustrations. He brought a little child to him to discuss childlike faith. He used repetition. He spoke about his death and resurrection multiple times, even though disciples never got it until finally it happened. He's like, they're like, oh yeah, that's what he was talking about. So repetition builds emphasis and breeds memory. So when things get repeated, they get remembered. When things get repeated, they get remembered. And when things get repeated, they get remembered. So, All right. You'll probably just remember that all today, and that's fine. Jesus created experiences, he had people go and do, and then finally he practiced what he preached. So he didn't just talk about loving the sinner, he had dinner with them. He didn't just talk about prayer, he withdrew to pray, right? It's kind of interesting, too, that Jesus had the example of dining with sinners. Most of his critique was shown to religious leaders, and most of his mercy was shown to sinners. How often do we get that backwards? We show critique to sinners and mercy to religious leaders. Something to think about. All right, who should teach us? 